Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome back to my youtube channel I hope you're all doing very well Oh wait, should I open with my wand? <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome back to my youtube channel I hope you're all doing very well Oh my god, yes, it is another Harry Potter video guys I went to the Harry Potter studio tours and I bought a couple of stuff But most of the stuff that I bought was um, food So yeah, uh, I'm going to do a video of myself trying the food And a little bit of the other stuff that I've bought from there Because it's not only food, I did buy some items which I found really lovely which I love 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 so much if you're new to my youtube channel hi everyone my name is Nadia Valerie Salsa Bila you can call me whatever you like Nadia Valerie but don't call me Salsa Bila it's my surname and yeah why do I have to complicate things just call me Valerie so uh, make sure you do subscribe to watch my further videos and for those of you who have been watching my videos thank you so much guys I really appreciate that I don't understand why I'm so hyped right now maybe it's because it's a Harry Potter video so let's get started shall we all of the items are in here should I just do the haul first yes I should first item that I bought from the studio tours was this thing this item over here yippee it's a what is this called i don't know what's this called i think it's a um, hufflepuff flag i think but yeah this thing i've always wanted like um i like to decorate my room like look over there i put this uh hufflepuff this one guys this one right here hufflepuff thing like i like to decorate my room with hufflepuff stuff so yeah definitely gonna put it somewhere in my room this one costed me 10 pounds i mean honestly it's not really worth it like 10 pounds for this like for this anyways i've always wanted this so gotta buy it you know the next item that i bought from the harry potter studio tours is one of the noble collections and that is gringotts coins i love to collect harry potter stuff and I'm starting to collect them. It is very pricey for like only three coins, but this is what collectors do. They spend money on items that are not even worth it, <laughs> but it is worth it for me. Basically, they have the galleon, the sickle, and the nut, and I will open it right now. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Yep, hey! Oh man! Oh, there's still a plastic. I'm not excited yet. You can see there is the um, galleon. Okay, let's see. If it says Unum Galleon. One galleon. Yep, there it is. Umun. Is it Umun? Yeah, Umun. Unum. Unum Galleon. And behind the coin, it says Gringotts Bank. And let's see the nickel. This is Unum. I don't understand what Unum means to be honest. Unum nickel, Unum galleon, and Unum nut. What is Unum? Behind it, same like the gold one. It says Gringotts Bank. Oh my God, the nut is like a. It's like a uh, British penny. You know what? It's not gonna focus, guys. But yeah, these are the three coins, and this costed me twenty-five pounds. Third item I got from the Harry Potter Studio Tours is this train ticket to Hogwarts. Here it says, for one-way travel, London to Hogwarts. Uh, and yeah, you guys can see what it says over there. And this costed me for five pounds. Five pounds for a piece of paper. That is great. Life's great. Okay, next item, what I bought. I didn't exactly bought it, but because um, it was in my basket, so they kind of scanned it, and I only realized when I, I only realized when I arrived back to my dorm. It's like a fridge magnet thing, and this costed me two pounds, just two pounds. Next items, well, it's just pictures, but they costed me quite a lot. At the Harry Potter Studio Tours, they have these green screen stuff and I took a picture of myself. <laughs> Undesirable number one. The other picture was me flying on a broomstick. One picture is 10 pounds and if you wanted to do a video of yourself on a broomstick, 
that's 20 pounds you can check out that video up here I posted a video of um, Harry Potter studio tours like my vlog there and there's me riding the broomstick and that costed me 20 pounds and now for the exciting part Harry Potter food so right in front of me right now I have four different Harry Potter foods um, I wanted to buy the fifth okay I'm just gonna say I wanted to buy um, Bertie Watts every flavor beans but because I've already tried it I've already bought it before and I didn't really like it like I don't mm, I'd rather have a chocolate frog or something which is like edible if you get what I mean because Bertie Watts every flavor beans you can get bad ones and I I'm just not in the mood to try bad food at the moment first food is which one should I start? Which one should I start? Let's start with exploding bonbons. I've noticed this in the movies and I've always wanted to try them. Exploding bonbons is a white chocolate with an orange and pineapple flavored truffle center and popping candy. Exciting. Okay, let's give it a go, shall we? I do not want to damage the, um, the case because I want to collect it. Here we go. We got one of them. It's popping! Mm. It's popping guys, oh my god. Mm. Can you guys hear that? I love these. I'm not really a huge fan of um, white chocolate, but I have to say this one is delicious. So the price for these exploding bonbons are £8. Next food is, let's try fudge flies first. Here it says milk chocolate flies with fudge flavoring. I do love fudge. It already smells like fudge. It looks like a fly and okay, let's try it. It's like normal chocolate to be honest. <laughs> I can definitely taste the fudge. It's not as fancy as the um, exploding bonbons. I just, all I taste is like ordinary chocolate. This one costed me six pounds. Dumbledore's favorite, sherbet lemons. Oh my God, I've always wanted this because like I love lemons and I know for a fact it's Dumbledore's favorite. So the package looks like this. There you are, sherbet lemons, just like that like that. Okay, I'm gonna try it now. Oh my god, it's sour. It's like one of these candies I've got from back home. It's Ricola, it's like lemon. It tastes exactly like this, but in a packaging of honeydukes. <laughs> this costed me um, seven pounds for this one. And the last food is chocolate frogs honestly I don't really want to buy it because I've tasted it before the chocolate tastes like originally chocolate but I do want the card so yeah I just bought this for the um, the magic card which lies within this chocolate frog so yeah let's open it and the price for why is it when I say the the is it the or the guys correct me if I'm wrong uh, the price for this is eight pounds ninety five and yeah, let's open it, shall we? I really, really do hope I don't get um, Helga Hufflepuff because that's the card that I've got right now from my last chocolate frog. Yippee, there you go, there's the frog. Please, dear God, please be Dumbledore. Please be Dumbledore, please be Dumbledore. Yay, it's not Hufflepuff. It's, at least it's not Hufflepuff. I'm not happy with who I got, but at least it's not Helga Hufflepuff. It's Gilderoy Lockhart. I hate this teacher, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Guys, any of you want to switch with this and Dumbledore, I would be so happy. This is what it looks like and it can change. Okay, let's try the chocolate frog. And also guys, I forgot there's one more thing I haven't showed you from the Harry Potter haul and it's very special. So make sure you keep on watching this video, okay? Look at that frog. Look. Come on, focus on the frog. Yeah, that's what the frog looks like. See? Normal chocolate. I only bought this for the card, honestly. So those are the food reactions. Uh, I've got to say my favorite one out of all of it has got to be exploding bonbons. It's very unique. 
Even though I hate white chocolate, uh, for the first time I'm saying this, I do love this one. It's just magical. Should I say it's magical? I think it is. And for the last Harry Potter haul, a Niffler! Look at him, he's so adorable. Oh my god, I feel like a child because honestly, while I was there, I don't see many adults buying these or even in this section. Like, most of the people who are in this section, like the uh, plushes and stuff, are like kids. <laughs> it has a pocket in there. He can put his jewelry and stuff in there, which is really cute. This is quite pricey, it's 25 pounds, but I just need someone to hug, you know. I want to hug him. But so yeah, that's all from my video today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Any criticism, comments, video advice, video recommendations, what should I do in the future, please do leave a comment below this video. Don't forget to click the like, comment, and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Goodbye!